guys, it's Chanel, and I'm here today to do two product reviews for you all on previous products I got in my last haul video I did for you all. The two products I will be reviewing for you all is the Revlon um, Perfect Heat, I think it's Perfect Heat um, um, Crimper, the big fat one, the to give the beach body wave, and then um, the new Maybelline BB Cream. Now, first off, let me do the Revlon Hot Tool um, Beach Waver. I don't have a particular product to hold up for you all right now, and that's because I literally used the product the next day after I did that haul and returned it the very same day because it just did not work for me. It did not give me the, the ideal look that I thought it was going to give me. Um, the waves you see in my hair are from are from that hot tool, and I thought it was going to be like bigger, deeper, beachy waves, and that tool just did not give it to me. Um, the main reason is because it just never got hot enough. The um, on the box as well as inside on the instructions, it never states how hot the tool technically gets. It just says it heats up in 30 seconds, and um, that dial goes from 1 to 30, which 1 to 10 for fine hair, 10 to 20 for medium hair, and then 10 between like, or 20 to 30 for um, coarse hair. I had a thing on the highest seat it can get, which was on 30, and it would not crimp my hair. It says to hold it on the instructions, it says, for coarse hair, to have it on high heat, and to hold it for 8 seconds. I did that, and literally I would crimp it, hold it there, and take the barrel off, and it will, my hair will fall right back down straight. So, to get the slight bend in my hair you see today, it's because I held it on there for 20 seconds, which is not at all what I want to do. It t of course, it, it ends up taking me longer to do my hair, and it's more damaging the leave heat on your hair longer um, as well. So, return it the same day um, back to Ulta. Surprisingly, I was not the only person that day to return to return the same product. Um, the cashier let me know when I returned it that I was the second person to come in to Ulta that day to re return the same product. I asked her if she felt free of letting me know why the other lady returned hers as well, and it was um, pretty much for the same reason. Her hair was um, very coarse as well, and she said the tool would not crimp her hair or curl her hair, which is the same problem I had with mine. So. There you go. Save yourself like the 25 bucks I spent on it. And if you have coarse hair, I think it'd be fine for if you have fine hair. But if you have coarse hair, save your money and don't go out and buy it. Um, sec sec ugh. Secondly, I have the BB Dream Finish um, Cream from Maybelline. Unfortunately, I don't like this product either. Um, not sound like a hater or anything, because I know a lot of products I've been reviewing lately I dislike. I just, I'm honestly giving you guys, like, honest reviews, but don't want you guys going out there wasting your gas, your time, your money to get products that aren't going to work. So, to the reasons I don't like this product, I really, really want to like this product, too. I really, really want to like it. I use the product for a week. I hated using it every every time I did use it throughout the week because it just oh it's awful. Okay, let me just show you. So here it comes out like that. I got the deepest shade they have, which is deep sheer tint. This is pretty much a glorified tinted moisturizer that sucks. So it goes on like that, and then you can blend it out. And when I tried this um, product in stores, they had a tester there that I could use to see how it would come out. And I put it on my hand, and I'm like, oh, that's so nice. I like that. I think, like, this will work for me. Like, I want to go home and use this. So I blend it out, and it looks, um, it looked all right, like, in the store, the reason I went ahead and got it. Um, it does not stay this or the sheer or look like this after you're done. I think it's because of the sunscreen in the product, um, but it ends up oxidizing on you. So it turns um, more of a copperish tone in the end. I have it on today. I don't know if you can like 
tell in the camera, but it just, well, my face technically does not match my chest right now, and that's a big no-no. Um, also, it made my skin really, really oily. I don't know if you can tell, like, my skin looks oily now, because I literally have just BB cream on right now, and then, um, a light dusting of sheer powder to try to help with my oil some, and, like, a little bit of mascara that, like, that's literally all I have on today, because I wanted to focus to be on the BB cream, um, but it's just, I didn't like how it felt on my skin. It, um, made me oily. It made me look even oily. I don't have oily skin as it is, but I have normal combination skin, and it made my skin look even oilier, um, and because of that, I have to compensate with powder, and you had to put in powder on throughout the day, and it only makes your face look cakier, and because your skin is oily, and oils are breaking through, the product's sliding off your face, and it just, it did not look good in the end. It just looked awful on my skin, and on top of it oxidizing, and it being, like, a totally different color than what it looked like when I first applied it. Just did not work out at all for me. I can't state how bad I hated this product. On top of that, I have sensitive skin, and I think it's slightly breaking me out every time I use it as well, because I literally feel my skin looks 100% better. My skin looks and feels, as well as the texture of my skin, like, my skin look, is smoother and looks better before I put this product on, and then it looks like I have crappy skin after I apply the product, which defeats the whole purpose of the BB cream, supposed to be... The whole point of beauty cream is to perfect your skin, to make it look better than it normally does without looking like you have makeup on. And that just does not work for me. Um, I think this product would work for people who, for women who are Caucasian, who have dry skin, and have, want to correct like redness and imperfection without using a bunch of products. I think this would be the perfect one-step product for you all um, because it does moisturize your, it will moisturize your skin as well give you the added needed SPF that every woman would need. I think it would be good for you in that sense. I think that it will work. But for anyone who has like oily skin, it's definitely not going to work for you. Um, at, on top of, if for darker shades, it's going to oxidize on you, and it's going to be a weird tint on, on your skin. So, that's pretty much my overall thought on it. It retails for like 8 bucks. I think it would be 8 bucks wasted if you do get the product. Mostly if you have like normal to combination skin, because it's not, at least for me, it was not the one step product it states it's supposed to be, because it's supposed to do like eight things in one, I think it says. Yeah, it's supposed to do eight things in one. It's supposed to blur imperfections, enhance, brighten, adjust to skin tone. I think that adjusting the skin tone is that oxidizing, which does not at all match my skin tone. And then it's supposed to smooth, hydrate, um, has SPF 30, and it has zero oils and other heavy ingredients. Um, so it's supposed to be like the one-step product. You literally supposed to be able to wash your face, apply this, and be out the door. I could not do that with this product because, for one, I'm still going to use my 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 usual moisturizer on my skin because I'm not going to stop using my Ambi. Um, and on top of that, I applied, I felt like I had to do a primer because I knew my my skin was oily that was going to break through through the product. And this product was only going to slip off my face at the end of the day and look awful. So I felt like I had to use a primer to control my oils, to keep the product on my face, on top of putting the product on my face, and then having to top it off with a powder to keep it there and to help control the oil. So it's not the one-step product it's supposed to be. Um, so I hope this review, both these reviews were helpful for you all to save you all time and money. So you don't have to go out and waste your time like I did. This B cream is going to die like the Revlon Cripper did. <laughs> I'm getting my money back concerning that. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me down below. And as always, subscribe, comment, and rate. And I hope you all have a blessed day. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.